beautiful queen. All right, all right. Libby is up for the task. What's up, everybody? It's time for Art of Words with Ebony Sade. This is the weekly Wednesday show where you poet and I paint. And we're just waiting for a few minutes for more people to come in here. Let's get some people in here to do some poets, some poetry. <laughs> vibe with everybody tonight. I'm just getting some paint out here ready. How y'all feeling though? Is everybody wind down? LG. Hello. Yes. When you're ready, just get in the box, but I will tell you before I open up, before I throw you up there. <laughs> Gonna start with some colors out here this time, and then I'll kind of pick and choose what I want to. Mr. Penn, hello, Mr. Penn, how are you? My favorite Dom. Hello, love. If you all weren't here last week, Mr. Penn delivered us one from his special collection. <laughs> the pen after dark collection we loved it I believe Libby Miss Libby Yvonne graced us last week as well with one of her poems Jamaica how are you simply Jeanette hey emoji J I'm doing well I'm doing well love everybody say hello to emoji J he'll be recording the show tonight yeah, so be the best behavior. <laughs> oh, I know I need some black on there too. Go ahead and get a little bit of everything. Coco, so good. Thank you for joining. Once again, everybody, welcome to the Art of Words. Every Wednesday, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Y'all want to make it over here? Tell a friend. If you know any poets, you all can hit me up on Instagram at ebony.paints. The link, well, the name is in my bio. Traveling Man, how are you? Uh, welcome. You're just in time for the show. So far, we have. Um, with the exception of a hurt finger, exactly. Simply. <laughs> Light, how are you? Yes, so every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, so far we have Libby Yvonne. I think we had, um, we have Prina. Prina's rare, will be doing a, a poem for us. Magician Bob, Magician Bob, how are you? Y'all go ahead and follow Magician Bob, a fellow show creator. He has a show on Tuesdays, perhaps Mondays, Tuesdays, 9 p.m., 7 p.m., Tuesday at 7 p.m. Okay, y'all don't listen to me. Boss Life, sis, how are you? All right, I think we're going to go ahead and get ready and start the show. You guys, everybody, welcome to Art of Words. Do what's up with Ebony Sade. This is the show where I poet, where I paint, and you poet. <laughs> um, we're just going to let some people showcase their talent tonight. Um, Real King B, one of our uh, past poets, is also here. And so while these people are up doing their piece, I'll be creating my secret masterpiece on this blank canvas right over here. What's up, real? So, uh, without further ado, we're gonna get the first. <laughs> we're gonna get the first person in the box. 
and I think she's in there, Liv Yvonne. Clarence. Ah, ah yes, I got you. <laughs> I saw the box flashing. This is the Poetry Slam now, yes. So please, everyone, be courteous to the poets. Um, let them know how y'all feel like they're doing. Light up those fire emojis. Light up those snap emojis. You know, like that. Yeah, find it. It's, it's somewhere in there. Um, and then please, no loud gifts. And only request the box if you have a poem to spit. Or if you got, if you got any. Logic, how are you? So whenever she's ready. <laughs> whenever she's ready. I think we'll have Livy Vaughn up first. Real King B, how are you feeling? You want to get in the show tonight? Oh yeah, Clarence. What do we do? Open mic style. Miss Perina. Oh, can somebody get Perina? I'll get her. Thank you so much, Logic. Thank you so much. So, this is Art of Words. We're just kind of hanging out, waiting for some poets to get in the box. Thank you, thank you. I hope y'all brought your wine. I hope y'all are chilling, ready to vibe out. Thank you, Vaughn, for that favorite. boss y'all I wish I wrote poetry I have to give it up to y'all because you should also consider a deal for Netflix that would be awesome um perplexing poets is here y'all perplexing poet give it up in the box
words if you're just getting here we're just kind of getting started getting started on the masterpiece keep your, your head up she put her head up mm. what is that kind of what you were what you were hoping for mm -hmm. yeah, yeah? yeah. That's, that's awesome thank you for coming and sharing please stay, please feel free to stick around um yeah. you want to come back in the box if we have some time um please come on back and request the box again oh thank you so much perplexing y'all give it up y'all favorite perplexing poet thank you so much there we go y'all what a good start what a good start to the show so that was perplexing poet this is art of words forgive me y'all i'm just getting my music together on here that was perplexing poets this is art of words good evening chocolates with ebony sade i'm ebony sade your host and i'm working on a masterpiece over here so i want you all to just kind of chill out chillax get ready to listen to some beautiful poems um we do have Livy coming up here in the box. I also, I know we have Prina's Rare coming in the box. So I'm excited to see what these two ladies have to say. Mr. Motivation, what's up? Motivation in the building. Good guy, y'all, of course. Got all my support. Hi, how you doing? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me again. I'm glad to be here. Um, yes. Hi, hi, Logic. Hi, Prenas. Hi, everybody who I did not see while I was trying to tame my hair. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> well, look. Well, you on camera now? So smile. Too. I'm here now. <laughs> hi, Vine. How are you? You all. This is Livy Yvonne um she was here last week but for the people who weren't here last week go ahead and introduce yourself okay so my name is olivia i'm from broken arrow oklahoma well actually i'm from detroit it would be a misrepresentation if i said i was from broken arrow oklahoma that's a lie i'm from detroit <laughs> but i moved to broken arrow oklahoma um in august so it's been kind of a interesting um Wow, that comment kind of threw me off a little bit, but um, <laughs> I was like, y'all got to be quicker than that. <laughs> I see all the eyes go down, like, <laughs> like I really, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, um, and I do poetry. I've done poetry for over hmm. About 15 years I've been doing poetry and um, I wrote some of my, the, some of the pieces that I still do, I actually wrote in the 10th grade and nobody knows that I wrote it in the 10th grade. <laughs> and nobody has any idea, but I do have some things that I've written in the last three years for the most part. I'm not as, um, I'm not as, um, uh, my pace with poetry has slowed down, but I'm glad to be able to come and um, maybe be inspired to write a little bit more here and share with you what I already have. So Absolutely. this is this is very nice. Nice. Yeah. So mm -hmm. whenever you're ready, go ahead. Oh, please tell us the title of the piece. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. The title is um, "A Woman Redeemed." So it's kind of like phenomenal woman in a in a sense, but it's very much in a uh, gospel version. <laughs> okay. okay. So okay, okay. Um. Oh, I got a gift. What? Thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. So it's called a woman redeemed. And it's based on Proverbs 31, um, 30 through 31. And it says, charm can be misleading and beauty is vain and so quickly fades. But this virtuous woman lived, lives in the wonder, awe, and fear of the Lord. She will be praised throughout eternity. So go ahead and give her the credit that is due. For she has become a radiant woman. 
and all her loving works of righteousness deserve to be admired at the gateways of every city, Proverbs 31, 30 through 31. Oh, I may have my flaws and sometimes need to be tweaked, but there is just something extra special about a woman that has been redeemed. I am a woman, fearfully, a fearfully made woman. Yep, that's me. See, people think they know, they think they've been graced to understand the power tucked in a woman, gently tucked, not found in a man, the finesse and the grace, the discretion and the art of the face. No need to be equal or seen as the same because a woman was specially made. The special order of creation made with extra special care. Every detail went into her because God is strategic with his wares. Before there was a need, God presented a secret weapon. Before the war ever happened, man didn't realize, but God prepped him. Because I'm a woman, marvelously, a marvelously made woman. Yep, that's me. She walked with a grace and a quiet answer on her lips. She finds her power not in strife or in quarrels, but in tips, in visits to the, whole, to the throne room and Holy Ghost tips. You try to drag her into foolishness, but you see she just won't engage. You wonder why she smiles and said and gently holds her place. You wonder what she knows that to you has yet to be revealed. Why she chooses to always be kind and never repay evil for evil. Curious, you lean in and you ask her, you, why doesn't it bother you when they underestimate you even call you names? What secret do you have that makes you never run away? She laughs, she leans in, she says, I thought you never asked. I've learned the secret to every battle is from whom you get your task. I never fight the battle that doesn't belong to me. That is the secret that confuses the enemy. Because I am a woman, protected, mightily, a mightily protected woman. Yep, that's me. I carry a quiet strength that a man can't imitate. I have a peace and joy that no one but God can initiate. My worth was initiated by my creator. I know not a thing or a soul has the power to disintegrate. They try to tell me my worth is based on my performance in my hair. Sorry. They try to tell me my worth is based on my performance in my hair. They try to say that my skin color and complexion affects my value and my flair. My peace is found in knowing I have a father who taught me it's neither here nor there. So I don't have to fight the fight because I know I have nothing to prove. I also know I have a prayer to pray, a gap to stand in for you. This peace I have can be, cannot be, du can be duplicated. I can pass it on with this simple truth that I am a woman strategically, a strategically prayerful woman. Yep, that's me. A woman that isn't afraid to laugh, who is free to just be, free to clap her hands and free to move to the beat, unencumbered by emotional bondage, a soul that is free. A woman that fully understands that where the spirit is in charge, there is liberty. Bought with a price, she knows her worth and she knows yours too. A woman who is empowered will raise up all of your value. She is an investment with endless returns. Her love never runs out because from the best she has learned. The passionate love of her father flows from her nature like a fountain. A love that is strong enough to scale every mountain. She loves strong and she loves hard with a love that never fails, a love that doesn't originate from this earthly temporal realm. She is a woman, passionately, a passionately whole woman. Yep, that's me. And that is the poem. Okay. So, what was that called again? Tell us again. A woman redeemed. A woman redeemed. A woman redeemed, yes. I love it. What do you all think? Yes, yes, yes. Woohoo! This is by me, Mr. Links. I wrote that. This I only do uh, uh, original poetry. It's all me. I love it. Thank so, you. So, okay, I I feel like I can relate. I I I think uh, a lot of women in here can relate, or I hope. Um, <laughs> women empowerment. I, I love it. It's so important that we do that for ourselves you know and yeah so i i appreciate that it's just like a nice little you know it's good to to empower yourself but to have like to have that inspiration and from your fellow sisters especially mm -hmm. like it and it takes it to a, another level i think yeah yeah i originally wrote it for like um a woman, uh, I wrote it for a woman's um, fellowship at my church. That's what I, what I originally voted for. They routinely 
requested poetry from me. And so, you know, I were, I can write on topics. If you give me a topic, I could write on that topic. And so they, they routinely ask me um, for pieces to present, you know, that particular day or event. And um, so I did stuff for Mother's Day. I did stuff for women's groups that were just starting. I did type all types of stuff. So, you know, I, I, this person, I was in a church that I felt was like, um, basically just male dominated and like the males seemed like they were appreciated more than the females. Um, like I had, I easily had more education and, uh, more history in the church and more, uh, even a better reputation, not saying that my works are more important than, um, anything else. Christ, you know, he said, he changes all of that. You know what I'm saying? He changes the playing field a little bit, but at the same time, when you notice that people don't see the value in you because you are a woman, you know, they think that you're not supposed to go pastor. You're not supposed to go do this. You're not supposed to go do that. Fashion. Yeah. It's old fashioned and it's not biblical. It's not even biblical. There's no place in the Bible where it says that a woman can't operate in any of the fivefold ministry. There's nowhere, nowhere that doesn't say that, you know, it even says that there's neither male nor female, you know, in the spirit as well. So it's like, Knowing that type of stuff um, in Christ, you know, it's like, I know that stuff. And so to see that reflected back to me, that type of mentality, it was just, it was very disheartening for me. And this was my way of kind of, I kind of had an attitude when I did this poem. I kind of did. I had, maybe had a you little bit. You like, I'm going to show y'all because I'm the head of this here thing now. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. God is the head. God is the head. I'm going to show y'all. I'm oh, going to show you guys. <laughs> I'm going I, like my idea. I don't. I don't fight to be equal with a man. I don't. I fight to be um, valued for what I am, and I'm not less than what a man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I feel like I'm complementary. I don't feel like I'm equal. I don't feel like I'm the same. You see what I'm saying? I feel like I'm complementary. Absolutely. I hear that. Gifted. Complementary. Complementary. Gift. Yeah, like something that's complimentary means that it's helping you to come along. It's not necessarily telling you that you're less than or I'm less than. It's saying that you function better with me. You know what I mean? It may, yeah, it makes up the whole picture. Like there's two parts of the puzzle for for a reason. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like gifted, I think that it happens without awareness. It happens because of tradition. People who are very good at fo following um it's very good at following along with people. Um, it's very good at Im uh, imitating what has been shown to you before versus thinking, having an original thought. You know what I'm saying? That, hmm, understanding these principles about God, does this picture match up with what I know about God and who He, who I've seen him to be? You know, but people, that's why I try to, try, I try to present a different perspective. I'm not going to fight with anybody over it, but I will uh, make my voice heard because I've seen a lot of this stuff in the church. I grew up in the church. I absolutely love the church. I do not love the closed mindedness that I see in a lot of different areas. You know what I'm saying? I, I do not love the closed mindedness. I do not love the idea that um, women are not really listened to. And if I have something to say that actually means something, people do not expect me to know more than a man as far as Bible. They don't expect me to know more than a man and, you know what I'm saying, be able to present a revelation. You see what I'm saying? They don't expect that. And if I do, they kind of shut me down. You know what I mean? And it doesn't. And um, so I didn't know what to do with that. Well, gifted, it took me a long time, honestly, to realize that that was what was going on because, of course, I grew up in the church. It takes a long time for you to realize, oh, this is actually not right. You know what I'm saying? That's actually not right at all. You know, that's not yeah. You know, and then, but and at the same time, you still want to be submissive. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, sub I'm, I'm submitted to the mission, not to the man. You feel me? I see you, LP, and I'm going to get you in here. Absolutely. Um, so thank you for sharing that because I'm sure that you motivate, you motivated somebody in here, you know. Um, so thank you, Miss Livy. You're welcome. I don't want to dominate your box, but thank you for giving me a chance to explain that and where that passion came from. That was that blessed me. So yes, absolutely. Okay. Y'all give it up for Livy. That was our okay. second. Bye. Lady. 
She's so sweet, y'all. Yes, I hope that y'all favorited her. Um, really good poetry. She graced us last week and this week again. So welcome everybody who's just joining to Art of Words with Ebony Shade. <laughs> I'm Ebony Shade, and this is the Art of Words. So I'm over here painting a little masterpiece on my canvas that y'all can't see. Um, while the words are going on in the box. Okay, there's the words. Wait, up there. There's the words. And here's the art over here. Okay, here's the art. And there's the words. And they're going to intermingle. And I'm going to show y'all at the end what I have created based on you guys. So that was Libby Yvonne. A little bit earlier, we had Perplexing Poet that opened up the show. Uh, really, really um, two talented people. I did see also uh, Mr. Penn has something for us. I know Miss Perina has something for us, my sis. And um, one other LP. So whoever's ready can request the box and we'll get you all in here right and ready. to express myself over the abundance of your breath. I can't seem to explain anything. I only have a memory I wear like a swollen bruise resting on my face and like a teardrop falling from my eyes. I don't know of love, but I do know about how it feels to be stabbed in the neck and back with a knife and gush blood profusely as I bang on every apartment door and plead for them to call the ambulance. But nobody can hear my scream for help. I know the smell of fresh sulfur in the air caused by gunfire, how poems are written on the backs of napkins and paper coasters. And something keeps sucking me back in like a judge accusing me of a crime I never committed, a nightmare on repeat. I know how death looks at night chasing me through the broken down streets amidst thick clouds of marijuana smoke. I tried to love once, but just ended up cracking everyone over the head. You are too sweet. Run away from me. That so that was a kind of mixture of love and street. Let me go one more. I was going to say, that's not the love one. So That was the love one. That was the love one. That was the love one. Okay, so I, I heard you say you. Um, so who is the you in the poem? Who is, who is the subject? Oh, actually, like the way I write my poetry, like that's that was somebody that I had in mind, but it wasn't somebody I was actually with. You know what I mean? It was somebody I had like it was more of an imaginary like thing that like it wasn't somebody that I was really like 
writing it for like a, a person that I was with, but it, it was, the, it was like the, what if I was with her type of shit that was making me go through the feelings of going through the poem, but it wasn't like a legit love type of a person. It was, that's how I do it. It's more based on like, like feelings and not, so that wasn't really like a real person that so it was more it, hypothetical. Yeah. It was more of the pain inside that I felt. Yeah, because you know how when you like somebody, they don't like you, but it's kind of like you don't want to tell them, so you just write, I'd rather write a poem. That's kind of like I was, yeah. Yeah. So then this is another one. It's called um, Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday when the cool blue moon hung its head over us, we strolled the streets as our body's silhouette was drawn on the floor. Yesterday after the four of us youngsters kicked up dust in the projects and got into a knife fight, Yesterday, I was stabbed in the neck and back, and the other boys were beaten by bats. Yesterday, the cops screamed with gum, guns pressed, pressed firmly against the back of our heads. Don't move, I will kill you. An angel cried in heaven, seeing the world through the eyes of a lonely boy. That's it. That's it. So uh, I'm hearing a uh, recurring theme here some of these things um true story yeah I, well yeah that uh got stabbed in the neck in the back um you know what i'm saying um so that part those parts were are true so is this some of it stuff when i was younger things that i grew from and that's kind of what i where i derived that from nice. so so yeah that part yeah those, those parts were definitely true just the the only thing that wasn't, I think, was just obviously the that girl. Like that was a a girl I was talking to, but it wasn't like a real relationship or anything, you know. Yeah. Same thing with this one. This one is the same thing. It's a love letter. There's three love letters. There's love letter number one, two, and three, and it's based on again, um, not a person I was with, but it's like again, you know, I had been I was talking to her, and it was it wasn't reciprocal. So then that I use that as a way to draw my um my inspiration. Well, we're loving it. Check out the fire emojis. I'm gonna need y'all to like. I'm gonna need y'all to do a little yeah. better than that, cause that yeah, was hot. I'm gonna need y'all to do a little better than. That. <laughs> Can I do these or no? Cause it'll be probably my last one. Yeah, no, no, please, please, we have time. All right. Okay, here it goes. Love letter number one. Ooh. I don't know you much, but I know enough to see. Broken promises cover you with shattered marriage vows. Broken trust. A broken and bruised soul permeates the air when you walk by. He said you had nothing to fear, that your love was something dear. Girl of rain and skin of dew, take the tears collecting in a puddle beneath you. They are for you because that's all he really had to give. Love letter number two. Beneath the beauty lies skeletons hidden deep. And at times you're afraid of your own skin the casing that covers your body because the scars penetrate your skin into your veins. When will you be ready? When will we be ready? All this devastation that has caused our life to be placed on hold. Why has life and love taken a backseat to misery? Are you ready? Because I want your devastation. I want your damaged skin to touch my damaged skin. Love letter number three. Without the sound of si without you, the sound of silence is always present. In the minds of the restless comes forth emptiness and abandonment. You have made me misplace myself, a part of me I do not long for anymore. I am something unfamiliar and distinct. What has happened to the old broken down me? I saw the old me running the other day, running away from affliction, Attempting to return back, searching for love at the bottom of a bottle and in the club. But I realized something. I was different. I was new now. I was just out fresh and clean like a new pair of kicks. I had become relentlessly sharpened, changed from how I was when I was open veined and distraught. There's something special in your skin when it touches my skin, something I can't put into words, something I've never had before something i crave you see i come from twilight and endless torment that's all i've ever known you've reawakened the spirit within me the fighter inside girl of rain and skin of dew i am for you 
I have more to give you than just the tears collecting in a puddle beneath you. In your absence, I am lost without order, lost without you. There you go. So heartfelt. Thank yes, you. we love it. They love it. LP, everybody, thank you so much. It's so I nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Ready? Yep. It goes like this. And where Rasa are our heroes, the heroes of Atlan? What became of that great nation we were going to build? Where did we go with all our sharpened knives and loaded rifles. Every day I walk through the cracking streets, smelling despair like a rose. I ride on buses freshly laced with the stench of some borracho's vomit, and there are bones and more bones stacking up around me, murdered by pipes and guns, knives and drugs, or just the evil glare of some rich gava. And not the viejito sipping tea or the lovers kissing behind the bushes in the park can make me laugh or see some glimmer of hope in this crazy cosa called life because I can't get out. The streets keep returning to me the same, always the same, like a bad dream. And I have come to the conclusion that this is the way it was meant to be. Death in my pocket, insanity, the limp that keeps dragging me down. A tattooed teardrop falling from my eyes. I can't sing anymore. No. One waiting to put that little punk stepping up chump down. And then when I'm doing the tecato shuffle or the borracho bump, dying, coughing in that cockroach motel they found Louie in, I'll cry and I'll cry and I'll cry later like the tattoo says. And no one will be the wiser, not my mom working the graveyard or my daughter with her abuelita's name who will probably die younger than me. And it all comes down to the fact that I lived the life of a coward a slave. I never had the guts to explode, really explode like Guatemoc or Zapata, suicide style, so my gente can live like gente with honor. That's it. Mm, that was deep. That was deep. So I'll get off so other people can get on. No, you, uh, hey, we appreciate it. We love it. I, I was gonna have a little chat with you, but it's Y'all, okay. LP, everybody. Hopefully, y'all favorited him. Um, LP, earlier we had Perplexing Poets. Um, we're going to have Miss Prina Rare come in the box. We have Miss Libby Yvonne. Y'all, this is Art of Words. If y'all are just getting here, if you all are just getting here, welcome. Welcome. Y'all, I'm working on a masterpiece over here, and I think this is going to be one of the best ones of the show. Absolutely. Um, Miss Prentice, yes, I see you in the box. Oh, she jumped out. She jumped. And I think uh, Prentice has got a couple of poems for us. Sing one. Me too. It's the shade with them. <laughs> Y'all, really quick, favorite my theme too. This is my theme too, Prina's Rare. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to do a poem called <laughs> I Am. <laughs> okay. Don't let that be sis. <laughs> hi, everyone. <laughs> Louisa, Louisa, <laughs> hi. Tay, what's up? Okay. Is this an original poem? It is. Or? Okay. It is. Okay. It's short but sweet. <laughs> It's called I Am. I am a hopeful romantic. Love will find me. I am a hopeful romantic, creative and divinely, transforming and healing, protecting and kneeling. I am a hopeful romantic, patiently waiting. I am a hopeful romantic, anticipating serving my king. Dine, then blowing his mind, celestial passion, intertwined. I am a hopeful romantic, safely guarding your door. I am a hopeful romantic, wanting to give you more. Talks and kisses before a climax. 
shielding your heart, only you can react. I am a hopeful romantic. Now and forever, I am a hopeful romantic. Journey of truthful endeavors. Clouds can't hold us. Rules can't mold us. I am a hopeful romantic. Queen waiting her king. I am a hopeful romantic. God is taking me and making me into your queen, cultivating a matriarch for you, king. I'm gonna kick your tail. <laughs> I am a hopeful romantic. Love will find me. I am a hopeful romantic. I am R A R E. Well, somebody liked it. Nobody <laughs> wanted to like snap. Tell my niece. Tell my niece to stop cussing on my show. Oh, you sorry. Can't cuss. <laughs> you <laughs> better beep, 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 snap. Thank you. Okay. Oh, so, do you know what that's called? You did something there. Does anybody know what that's called? Where you repeat repetition. Oh, repetition. There you go. That <laughs> repetition. <laughs> <laughs> I know a little bit of something about poetry. Oh. She said it's called alliterate. Alliterate. No, I don't no. know if that's a real thing or if you meant to put, <laughs> put it with I it. think you meant alliterate. That's what it's called, the breakdown. Oh, of okay, okay, okay. So we got, I know something, a little bit of something about poetry. Thank you. A little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. However, anyway, um, that poem reminded me of another poem you know what it is which one i think somebody just said it <laughs> the my angel the phenomenal woman so this poem was kind of inspired by that poem as well as um, psalms 139 14 uh i praise you for i am fearfully and wonderfully made wonderful are your works my soul knows it very well so i kind of like wrote the poem talking to myself it was like a letter to myself and my future husband um because it was at a time where i wanted to like wanted him to know and reassure myself that it's coming i am perfect i'm fine just the way i am god is making me into the woman that i am he's already made me into a better woman than i used to be yesterday and so it was just all of the things that i was just trying to go through to talk to him like in the future so he'll be able to read it one day but y'all heard it first <laughs> All right, so now are you gonna like tuck it away and put it in a little shoebox or something? Yeah, it's <laughs> stop. Are you gonna read it on your wedding day? Hopefully, maybe. Yeah, no, I'm gonna read it. I think you should. I think you should. I think, think you should read it. I think you should read it on your wedding day. I was gonna say, I think you should read it on my wedding day. <laughs> yes, y'all light her up. Prina oh, swear. Thank you. Thank you, I love it. Um, thank you. Thank you. I can relate. I can relate. I'm also a hope, hopeful romantic. And I like how you um how you did that. It's not a hopeless romantic. We have something to look forward to. I sure do. Oh, <laughs> you know she don't act good sense. Go sit there. Um Oh, thank you, M Tail. Did you want to do your other you're no, gonna... I wasn't going to do it only because I knew you were cutting close on time. And then I know Penn wants to get in and dominate the box even more. And we trying to save the best for last. Yes, Penn. I was like, oh, this will be a perfect poem to go right before Penn. When you said his name, I was like, I think I should go before him. That way, if we get banned, it'll be at the end of the show. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Chris Casper, I hope he's not out there. <laughs> I'm so like, I just like them ghetto freaky books. But let's so have fun. Yes, y'all. Please favorite my thing too. Prina's rare. I think your mom been doing her this on her live and and more even and foolishness, of course. <laughs> but thank you, Prina. Thank you, sis. I love you. Thank y'all. Love, love you too. Love thank you so much. Well, well, well. We're coming down to the end of the show. Coming down to the end of the show, y'all. Masterpiece is coming together nicely. Yeah. Hopefully, Penn will finish us out and take us right into the unveiling of this masterpiece. Now, y'all heard the words. 
I got the art. It's almost time for the art. Is anybody here ready for the art? Let me know from one in the comments if you're ready for the art. Matter of fact, let me see those paint emojis if y'all are ready for the art. I'll wait. I'll wait. I see one. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Okay, Jamaica's ready. My vocals is ready. Prenus is ready. I know B Pip is ready. Pip Pip. Logic. <laughs> Logic, you're ignorant. <laughs> Kevon, Chanel, Singing Neva. Thank y'all so much. Simply Jeanette and Chad. And then, okay. So, last poet of the night. We're going to have um, Mr. Penn come in here and grace us. Before we get into that, let's do a quick recap. Okay. This is Art of Words for anybody who just got here. I'm Ebony Sade, your host. I am over here doing my art while the poets are doing their words. Um, to open up the show, we have Perplexing Poets. Very, very talented, very deep perplexing poet. We had LP in the box. We had Miss Libby Yvonne in the box. And finally, we had Prenus in the box. Prenus Rare. My thing too. Next, we're going to have somebody who y'all should know. Y'all should know. It, it's all good, just me. Just put paint emoji. Just follow the herd. <laughs> but uh, saving Mr. Penn for last, y'all, y'all know, y'all should know Mr. Penn, who he is by now. So we're gonna skip the introductions. We've got him right in the box. Again, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can hear you. All right, cool. So it's not really a piece of poetry. It's more of a motivational piece for women. Uh, it goes back to what uh, what was it, Livy, right? What she was saying about how she doesn't feel like she's heard and women don't feel like they're heard. You know what, boss? Cut it out. I don't want to hear it. Thank you. Uh, but um, it's basically the, the way that I titled it, and I used to read it all the time at the end of my late night talks because I think it's important that women understand that men, that us as men, we do hear you. So it's actually it's actually called I Hear You, but the here is, is capital H-E-R, and then it's an E, and then it's you. I hear you. Okay, like I heard. Okay, like I heard. Yeah, like, like, but it's like her, because you're, absolutely. Because most women feel like they the conversation falls on deaf ears when they talk. But a lot of times, you have men out here that can actually that hear you even when you don't speak. So I just want to share this with you all. So, okay. And it goes like this. Okay. It says, you are a beauty defined, a direct descendant of love, a believer of passion and a staple of morals. You are a warm summer breeze on a chilly day, the sweet smell in the air after a perfect rain. You are a moment in time stitched into place only by hope, a dream reincarnated only by a fantasy. You are many things in life, but those things you are made up of create you. A being like no other, unique in yourself, standing here in front of me and the world to see and take notice. A force to be reckoned with, a form of art yet to be taught. You are a fire that can't be extinguished and a light that will never dim. You are a woman that wants nothing, but yet deserves everything. And there you have it. See, this is why we put pin. This is why we put pin at the end. <laughs> That's the most amazing <laughs> thing I've heard on. <laughs> You know, it's one of those things where I think women don't don't understand that us men, we do hear you, you know, and, and even when you don't speak, there are men out here that still hear you. 
So don't ever give up the notion of that and always remember that everything that I spoke as far as that goes, that is that is a woman phenomenally, period. It, it, it completely, wholly. Um, and if you don't see that in yourself, no one ever will. So you have to motivate yourself first and foremost and project what you are and who you are in order for somebody else to see it. Absolutely. It goes back to knowing your worth, right? Yeah. I don't know where they are, vocals. We have to, I mean, you ladies have to find. They, look, I'll tell you like this. I'll use the analogy, okay? Since we in Ebony String, I'll use this analogy, okay? Oh, so when you look guys for, that, that hear us? When you look for something, you never find it. It's when you don't look, you find everything. I believe that. So okay. stop looking. It'll find you. Mr. Penn, everybody, short and sweet. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Now we want to see that that masterpiece. I appreciate that <laughs> perspective you. of yours. Y'all, ladies, they hear us. Well, some of them hear us. We just have we to. Do. Absolutely. See, look, just keep calm and say, yes, sir. That's all you got to do. Just keep calm and say, yes, sir. That when you came in the box. That's one mm -hmm. of my favorite sayings, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I thank you all. I thank you for having me, Ebony. I appreciate this platform that you have. It is a wonderful platform uh, for people to express, uh, as well as to get to see some, some dope art coming from Miss Ebony. So, you know, we all got to give it up for Ebony because this is a very important thing. This is a, this is a whole type of it's not just a vibe it's a movement and we all need to be in that type of movement of positivity Prentice, thank you for that as well i appreciate you because you was like ready ready you know what i'm saying you was definitely ready ready i i, I seen i typed the word submit twice you know what I'm saying you was ready to submit submit to the right man and that's important so it's awesome but i definitely thank you ebony and i can't wait to see what you've painted so Thank you so much. Y'all about to see it in a second. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was our show. That was our show. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all took something um, away from the poets tonight. I hope that somebody is inspired. I hope that um, I can inspire somebody next to create a work of art while well, I'm over here cheating, trying to get a few extra, a few extra little lines in here. There, there we go. That's all he needed right there. All right. It's time, time for the unveiling. Oh, what a perfect song. Let me turn this up a little bit. Hold on, y'all. He needs a few, a few extra little. Hold on, hold on. There we go. All right, are y'all ready? A little butterfly, a multicolored butterfly, a little mosaic butterfly on a sunny day. Heal the world, make it a better place. Thank you all for coming to the show this week. That is our piece. A cute little butterfly on a beautiful sunny day, nice and sweet. Um, special thanks to all the poets. Special thanks to all of the viewers. Everybody who left a comment, I appreciate you. Everybody that sent a gift, I appreciate you. 
um, everybody here, let's take something away from this tonight. Um, I would love for all of my women in the audience to be empowered, to let them know that the guys do hear us, um, to let us know that we are strong, um, perplexing poet. Thank you for coming through and displaying your strength to us. Um, thank you, Mr. Penn, for coming here each and every week. Um, he always has something new for us. LP, so nice.